afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Viola Giuda, and I'm an associate professor and faculty dean here at the Harris School of Public Policy. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to this afternoon's sessions of the sixth annual Pearson Global Forum. Um, this afternoon, we have a series of conversations about the role that women play or should play in the process of conflict prevention and conflict resolution. And we are going to begin with a keynote address by someone who devoted her entire career to elevating the voices of women, to making sure that their expertise is recognized and put to good use in conflict prevention and resolution. So it's an honor to welcome Ambassador Milan Verveer. Ambassador Verveer is the executive director of the Georgetown Institute for Women, Peace, and Security. And her career is a remarkable blend of uh, public service and international diplomacy. And I will only highlight some of her many, many accomplishments here. So Ambassador Verveer served uh, in the White House from 1993 to 2000, first as, an, as, assistant, as a deputy assistant and then as an assistant to President Bill Clinton and also as the chief of staff for, the first, for First Lady Hillary Clinton. In her role, she led uh, many global initiatives on women's rights and she was instrumental in the adoption of the Victims of Trafficking and Violence Prevention, Protection Act. In her book, Hillary Clinton remarked and praised Ambassador Verveer uh, as a true policy wonk who loves the complexities and nuances of issues. In 2009, President Barack Obama um, appointed uh, Verveer as the first US ambassador at large for global women's issues. In her role, she ensured that women's issues were integr an integral part of US foreign policy. And as a testament to uh, her performance in her role, to the success that she had at her role, President Obama made this position permanent in 2013. Under her current uh, leadership, uh, the Georgetown Institute for Women, Peace, and Security advances women's involvement in peace building, they also uh, publish um, a few uh, trackers. For example, they publish the Women, Peace and Security Conflict Tracker, which uh, analyzes ongoing conflicts via the lenses of how they affect women. And they also publish Women, Peace and Security Index, which ranks women's well-being in 177 countries. Uh, do you want to guess uh, what rank the US has? <laughs> 37. Number one is Denmark. Um, Ambassador Verveer is also a co-author of uh, Fast Forward, How Women Can Achieve Power and Purpose. And in this book, uh, through a series of interviews, she highlights the powerful impact that women can have when they engage in leadership roles. So I cannot think of anyone better suited to kickstart the conversation of uh, this afternoon. Uh, please join me in welcoming Ambassador Milan Verveer to the stage. Thank you. Thank you. 